Hello, Hi Guru community. Today I will be talking about balancing medical school with your USMLE Step 1 study. Many students think of their medical school curriculum and their USMLE Step 1 being in different silos. And they kind of come up to me and they say, hey Rahul, I have to cover my medical school lectures and then I also have to review the USMLE Step 1 material. So today I'm gonna to give you five steps in order for you to achieve this balance. Tip number one is make sure you're studying the USMLE Step 1 topics in conjunction with your school curriculum. For example, if you're going to be in your pulmonary module, make sure you take the time to organize the first aid, the URL, the pathoma that relates to pulmonary so that you are covering in conjunction with your school lectures, the USMLE Step 1 material, and you can finish this before you move on to your next school block. Tip number two is before you dive into organ system pathology, take a few days to cover BRS physiology or some normal anatomy and physiology so that you are going to really set a foundation for you before you spearhead into pathology. I think it's really important because once you get that normal physiology in your mind, you can focus on mechanisms of disease and the USMLE Step 1 loves to test about that. Tip number three, and I think this is really important, stay up to date with your school lectures. It's really tough and really anxiety provoking if you are going to fall behind on your school lectures and then you try to cram all of them the week before the exam. Each and every day, stay on top of your school lectures, make sure you're making your own focus notes of your school lectures, and really try to see how they relate to the USMLE Step 1 content that you are already immersed in. I think it's really important that you make your separate notes for your school lectures and separate notes for your USMLE Step 1 because it can get way too tedious if you're trying to correlate both of those together. Tip number four, after you have studied some material on your own, for example, one pass of pathoma or one pass through a first aid or a week's worth of your school lectures, really delve into practice questions. I really made it a point to make sure I covered all of my U World questions for the particular system that I was in before I moved on to the next system. I think it's really important that you cover your corrects and your incorrects before you sit for your module exam. Tip number five, and I think this is the, one of the most challenging, is how do you cover the subjects that you learned your first year of medical school, such as biochemistry, microbiology, general pharmacology, how do you cover that in conjunction with your second year material? I think it's really important to appropriate one hour a day so that you are focusing on these subjects because really it is important for you to get through a review of biochemistry, a review of microbiology, so that you're not cramming all of this in dedicated study. Once you've got some content review with these subjects, make sure you're also testing yourself with practice questions. And I promise you that if you can take the time right now to cover these quote old subjects, it's really going to help you, especially as you go closer and closer to your dedicated study. So just to review, tip number one, make sure you're going to be studying step one topics in conjunction with your curriculum. Tip number two, take some time to cover normal physiology and anatomy before spearheading into pathology. Tip number three, make sure you're staying on top of your school lectures and making your own focused notes so that you don't get behind. Tip number four, make sure you're doing practice questions in conjunction with your content review. And tip number five, take some time, maybe one hour a day, in order to cover your first year medical school subjects so that you are not cramming all of this in dedicated study. I hope that you found this of value. Truly, I care about your progress and your success. So let me know your feedback and let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help you. And thank you so much for being such a follower of High Guru.